you doing? Hi. It's a... What to do, everybody? So, it's Halloween. Look, you can tell by the very expensive light and display. It's awesome. Now, the reason I'm whispering... Oh, wait. Sorry, the reason I'm whispering is the cops are looking for me. Oh, uh, I think I heard something down here, sir. Well, I must have gone another way. Let's go and get some donuts. Oh, that's a cliche. All right, let's go and get some Chinese food. Now you're talking. Okay, they've gone. So, here's the deal. Delio. Uh, tonight is, uh, is Halloween's Eve Eve. This is the night when all good crocodiles go a little crazy. And tonight, I, I don't know what to get into me. I tried to give it up, but anyway, I held up a liquor store. Yeah, I know, I know, I know I'm cute. I know I'm cuddly. I know I'm like, hey, everybody want to do, and everybody loves me. But I'm also an untamed killer. <laughs> Although, I gotta be honest, I didn't use a gun. And it wasn't really a liquor store. Okay, look, I just stole a bottle <laughs> of wine <laughs> from a dude <laughs> who was asleep. <laughs> What to do? Say it was awesome. He, 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 oh, okay, hold on. I think oh, did I hear some kind of a noise down here? No, they must have gone the other way. That lo mein is delicious, isn't it? Sure is. Yeah. Wow, this is like an episode of CSI. <laughs> Except, of course, <laughs> what the hell time is it? How long have we been? Oh boy, look at that! It's time for a commercial. Thank the Lord. <laughs> sitting next to you and make out with them. <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> you too, ladies. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense! When did this show ever make sense? You stop arguing with me! Who are you calling fat? What? feeling a bit fluish. Uh, I feel a bit fluish. For the second day, I wasn't panicking on the first day because I thought, well, it can't be the swine flu, but today, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's the swine flu, but now I am panicky. I am panicky and a little bit fluish. Do we have a graphic for the... Uh... Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, 
my God. What happened there? The, the, the graphic came up and the light went out. <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait there. I'll keep this just in case. Uh, you know, you got to be, hey, is that, a, is that a flashlight in your pocket? <laughs> I'm going to start coming up here every night with a... Hi, everybody. This is a great day for America. Yeah! Woo! Hey, that feels, that feels kind of familiar. Uh, <laughs> it is a great... Is, are the lights OK? Can I put that? I'll put this flashlight here just in case. All right, I'll put it there on the camera. Just in case. Just in case, that, you know, because the other night it went. Um, and then I had to use a flashlight to finish the show. And people are like, hey, how come the cameras work and the, the lights didn't work? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> what, the hell, what, do you, what do I look like? I look, I'm just a pretty one. <laughs> I'm just a pretty one with the flashlight in his pocket. Anyway, it's a great day for America, great day for us, because the lights are still on. Uh, bad news for uh, CNN. Oh. <laughs> they have fallen to last place amongst the cable networks, but thanks to Larry King, uh, CNN are still number one in farting. So there are. Right. God bless you, Larry. God bless you. Breaking news, I just had brisket. <laughs> ah, he loves me, Larry. Now, there's big news in the world of fashion as well. The Olsen twins, Mary-Kate and Osama, the Olsen twins... <laughs> you didn't know? Yes! They, they've announced they're coming out with their own clothing line. It's called uh, Abercrombie and Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, production has started this week on a new movie about the Chippendale dancers. Ah. I smell Oscar. Oscar's the name of a Chippendale dancer. <laughs> now, of course, it is, uh, it is. I'll use my flashlight for this. It's, it's Halloween's Eve tonight. <laughs> and also Dentist Day. No, it's it's. <laughs> Do you think dentists understand people when they? <laughs> really? And how did she feel about that? <laughs> anyway, it's if it's Halloween's Eve. Well, it says Halloween's Eve, right? But Halloween is Hallow's Eve, right? So this is all Hallow's Eve. We'll just call it Friday. Anyway, as you. <laughs> As you can see, I'm already dressed to go trick-or-treating. I am going tonight as late-night douchebag. <laughs> I am... I am a middle-aged white guy presenting uh, a, a late-night talk show hall. We are the most hated men in America. <laughs> anyway, Halloween's not just for the kids. Uh, most Halloween masks are bought for adults. You know why I know this? Because the most popular Halloween mask this year is for Bernie Madoff. Now, what, what kind of a kid wants to dress up as a 70-year-old convicted Ponzi schemer? <laughs> Although it would be... That's the most... I mean, that's the most popular mask. Kids... It would be adorable, though, I think. <laughs> Give me your candy and I'll invest it wisely. <laughs> Do you know what other costume is selling like hotcakes this year is the John and Kate costumes? I can't wait until next Halloween when no one remembers who the hell they are, but with John and Kate... I don't know what a John and Kate costume is. Kate, it'd be easy. You get a mullet wig and put it on backwards, but how do you dress... How do you dress up like John? I think what you, 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 get an, you wear an Ed Hardy uh, T-shirt and a sign that says jerk. Although, if you're wearing the Ed Hardy T-shirt, you don't really need this. Thing. That's right, I said it. Also, costumes that are popular this year are the costumes from the movie Twilight. It's very popular. I don't, that's another costume I don't approve of, because I remember the good old days when vampires were scary and... And they were the, the undead servant of the dam. Not a twink with six-pack abs. They were scary. 
Now, I don't have anything against that. Now, when I was a teenager, this is true, when I was a kid, I dressed, one Halloween I dressed up as, as Dracula, but we didn't have any hair cream in my house because we were poor. And uh, hair cream is not beloved of Scottish Protestants. <laughs> You can't be using money to buy things to make yourself look more attractive. <laughs> Hair cream, is it? Oh. <laughs> Next you'll be wearing trousers. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> it's true. Anyway, so I, we didn't have any hair cream in the house. So well, what I, I was going to this party, I wanted to be Dracula, so I used butter uh, to <laughs> slick, slick my hair back. And I got to the party, and the butter's all melting. Because <laughs> I, was, I was a teenager, I was excited. I looked more like, I can't believe it's not Dracula. <laughs> anyway, the, the, butter, the butter's all dripping down my face, and I'm wearing my eye makeup, and all. And then the, the butter, because I'm a teenager, the butter gets into my acne. <laughs> I, know, I went to the party as a vampire, I came home as a giant zit. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Getting ready for Halloween by dressing up as a guy. <laughs> dressing up as a geography teacher. <laughs> All right, kids, today we're going to talk about France. It's over there, people live in it. Get out. Uh, my, uh, my first guest tonight, my, I always like to have this guest. At Halloween. Uh, it's a very beautiful actress, a good friend of the show, the very, very lovely Lauren Graham, everybody, Lauren Graham. Sensational uh, boots! <laughs> oh yeah! I feel like I, for Halloween, am dressing as preppy dominatrix. <laughs> ah, I like it. <laughs> preppy dominatrix is awesome. Yeah, it, it's she wants very... you to do what she tells you, but it's okay if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> She's preppy dominatrix. I like it. Perky sadism. <laughs> By the way, perky sadism is the name I used to dance under. <laughs> these, these are. May I? Yeah. Wear them? <laughs> may you? <laughs> May I touch them? Yeah, yeah, Go, yeah. All right, then. Do can it. I touch the boots too? Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't even feel that. Do uh, it. Do it. Uh, oh. 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 It's nice. It's oh, it's lovely. It's like a sofa. <laughs> it's like you're wearing a sofa on your legs. It's so great. What could be sexier than that? A, hey, sofas are sexy. A lot of good stuff happens in sofas. <laughs> In them or on them? In I guess. them too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Inside sofas. There's all kinds of like springs and cotton stuff. <laughs> In them, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the uh, now you famously love Halloween more than any other holiday, don't you? I hate Halloween so much. I know. <laughs> I know. And this year, it's an especial, um, an especial, an what? Especial. It's, it's, um, it's especially hideous for me personally because I have to go to a party and dress up. That's why everybody does in Halloween. Don't Not be such me. a, Not don't be me. such a Mr. Scrooge. Wear your boots. <laughs> wear, I know. wear your boots and nothing else. <laughs> There is a costume. There, you're damn right there's what a costume. If, <laughs> what if I have to get gas or something? <laughs> Go to full service. Good point. Uh, <laughs> you'll get full service either way. So, um, well, that's well, what are you going to go as then? I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? It's, it's hours away. You gotta I know, know. I know. It just reminds me when I didn't have a Halloween costume as a kid, and um, and I and so I made one up. And do you want to know what it was? No. Okay. Uh, of course I do. Yes. It was um, 
I, 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 wrapped, I took my dad's brown cable knit sweater and I rode horses and I had my brown riding hat and I, and I tucked myself in the sweater and I tried to roll across the gym because I was a coconut. <laughs> That's, that's adorable. <laughs> Why don't you do that again, then? I did the, the Halloween uh, buttery... Uh, do you ever put butter in your hair? No. Why? It wasn't real butter, it was margarine, you know. It was, Why? Uh, For what? To dress up as Dracula. Because don't you even watch this show? <laughs> you don't even watch this show when you're yes, on I it. Yes, I do watch this show. Really? I don't watch it when I'm on it. Because who could, who could do that? Do you watch your own self? I guess you uh, have to. No. <laughs> No, I can't. I can't. You can't, right? No, it's, it's, it's like awful. listening to your voice on a tape or reading your own writing or looking at your own underpants. Who wants Wait to do that? Wait a minute. You, you must have to do all those things. No. When I'm finished with a pair of underpants, I get them on a stick and I take them out of the backyard and I burn them. Why are you so angry at your underpants? They I'm served you so well. I'm not angry at them. It's just time for them to go. Ew! <laughs> After one use? One use. <laughs> I am a spectacularly flatulent man. Wow. Is it just because you're sick right now? Uh, sure. No, it's all the time? No, I'm not that farty. I'm a little bit farty. You know, it's farty as, as you know, like Larry King, who's my god of fartiness. Is he the fartiest person you've ever met? No. <laughs> there is a guy. Yeah. Who I know. Yeah. Who can fart when he wants. <laughs> Is what we're talking about. Uh, you, know, you started it with well, your boots. I can't remember. Wait, but um, look, you wrote this book. I did write that book. What, uh, look, here's a clue. There's a picture of me in the cover, and my name's written there. Is this a quiz? <laughs> no, but I, I wanted to talk about because I came to your book party. I remember. I saw you there. I was there too. I know, because you wrote it. Yeah. And you told me that I was not in this book. You're not. Craig. <laughs> Where did you find yourself in the book? Where does it say it? Craig, here's where I am. Anne was and is a great talker. She's funny and interested in people. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, there's two more. That, I, I had no idea I'd written such a lame book. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. No, no. Because you have to change the names to protect the innocent. All right. Wait, I just have two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only two? Thank you. No, by the way, I have like ten more, but I cut uh -huh. it down. Right. Um, the landlord, Tommy, was an Irish fella and a terrific storyteller. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you really like this, don't you? You really think you've got something going, don't you? Oh, I've had a great idea and I'm really going to go with it. Go on then. <laughs> It just makes me laugh. No, I'm, it does. I'm glad you're no, having a good I'm time. No, I'm not even going to read the last no, one. No, no, come like on, no, no. Come on, it. you have to read the okay. last one. <laughs> you want me to get that? No, that's All okay. right, then. That's my very expensive bookmarks. Um, Betty has been on TV as long as the medium has existed. Slight exaggeration. And she possesses, without doubt, the finest comedic timing of any human being I've ever seen in movies, TV, or real life. <laughs> Of you. That very, was so I, well, sweet. Well, um, it's amazing you managed to spot yourself. I thought I didn't. So many times. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I talk about you a lot, apparently, I over know. the years. I know. <laughs> Fine. Are you back in LA now? Or yes. are you still in New York? Are you so sick? Do you have the fever coming on right now? A little bit? What kind of fever? Because <laughs> those boots are getting me into some kind of... A... Boots that are like a sofa fever. Yeah. <laughs> Boots that are like a sofa. Starring Lauren Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Why is our porn music so terrible? I know, you'd think they go all that trouble of making everything else great. Why would they put some good yeah. music on? Yeah, everything else is so great. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know the last time I saw porn uh, it no, was by accident? Yeah, well, it was by accident? It was by accident. <laughs> and I, you know, I, after I paid for it and waited for it to come up on the hotel, like, I, I, I went, wow, that's much better lit than my show. <laughs> 
Did you feel like people looked better and more youthful? They did. They clearly did. And also, the, just the, the general lighting was better. And the, actually, so was the music. No disrespect, but it was... Uh... Do you think that a sign of being coming older is when you're watching a porn movie that you paid for in a hotel room and you're noticing the lighting and the music? <laughs> You know what's even worse? When you go, when you, you watch it and you go, these people must be freezing. <laughs> that's, that's when you know. That's when you know, for sure. Are you a big fan of pornography? Do you watch a lot of it? You seem to know a lot about it. I hate Halloween. <laughs> yes. What about Christmas? I, I Do you like Christmas? I went back to that. I, lo I like Christmas. I'm not, you know... Evil. Evil. <laughs> I'm not really a dominatrix. They hate Christmas. <laughs> do, no, do they really? No, I think, no, I think no, they, they like I think it. They, they not that it. I would know. <laughs> I'm like tearing up because yeah, I think you're on? giving me the swine flu. I'm not giving you the swine flu. You are. I'm like suddenly like. I don't even. I don't think I have it. I'm just. I've got swine How flu. How do you know for sure? I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> if, if I end up with it, then you know you had it. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, I don't think I have it, but I've got what everybody else has got, which is... A uh, swine flu. Fever. Swine flu fever. I've got swine flu fever. I'm panicked about the swine flu. I don't necessarily have it. I'm just scared that I have it. You know what you have to do? You have to rinse your nose out with salt water. Do you do that? All the time. Really? <laughs> with the thing. You have to Not do the thing. Not just my nose. Everywhere I can get to. That's so weird because you're still so farty. You'd think you'd clean it up. I'm not really that farty. How long have you been sitting here talking to me? Uh, long enough to smell that you're fine. Oh, but... right, exactly. I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about pornography and farting, then, you know, well, it's not are... really your best foot forward, is it? <laughs> hey, it's knowing your audience. <laughs> Mind. They don't mind. If you don't mind me saying, maybe on the Gilmore Girls, a bit more fartiness. And it would still be on still the air. Still be on the air, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> there is a nice um, lady over there who's like farting. Mm -mm, I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad now. Oh, yeah. I, my eye is always drawn to the person who hates me. <laughs> me too. Sometimes I me marry too. them. Me too. Oh. Yeah. just did a musical on uh, the Broadway, you know? Oh, you're on the Broadway? Yeah. What, you mean in the, in, the, in the New York City? In the New York City, Manhattan. And, and yeah. what, what was the musical? Well, A, you sent me flowers on opening night, which was so, so sweet of you, to the degree that I figured it couldn't possibly have been you who did it, because I've just, like, lived in L.A. too long. So I, when I saw you recently, I said, do you know that you sent me flowers? And you said yes. And, yes. Then, and then who's the idiot? Me. But um, you can always well, what was see... I going to say? No. <laughs> Oh, you probably didn't know that you did. I, of course, I sent you flowers, and I remember what I wrote on them. Do you? H happy opening night. You don't even remember. What did you say? Good luck on your opening <laughs> night. Which P.S. is bad luck in the theater? Everybody knows that. That's why I said bad <laughs> luck. I was testing you. Oh. I can't remember what I wrote, but it was something you supportive. Something anyway, nice. you were on Broadway, and I what was happened? On Broadway. But the point is that you can you always look into the audience and see the uh. person who's like, and I mean, you know, people people come to rest <laughs> in yes, the Broadway. Yeah. They're no kidding. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They. Um, and it's very loud in the house, but they do come and just sleep and sleep, and uh, and their so you can always see those off. people and their cell phones go off and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah. They fart. <laughs> and we've you come love... full circle. Oh, that's beautiful. It's poetic and yeah. <laughs> we've, fi we've we've finished now. It's the end of the time you have to talk. It is. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's always it's it's always an issue with me how to get to the commercial without looking cheesy. <laughs> well, you could just really depress your guest like you just did. <laughs> guest is on Glee. Uh, is that a drug? <laughs> My next guest is on Glee. 
but we'll try and get through this conversation. <laughs> it's not a drug. It's a show. It's a very good show, I believe. Uh, <laughs> it is a very good show, isn't it? Yeah, everybody's talking about it. You know, everyone's like, ah, ah and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's on Wednesday nights on Fox. <laughs> Take a look. I think my girlfriend is in love with you. Please welcome the very lovely Jessalyn Gilsig, everybody. Jessalyn Gilsig. Oh, it's lovely to see. Oh, look at you! You look sensational. Oh, thank you. Look, that's a lovely silky thing going on. And let me see your thank shoes. You. Uh, oh yes, very nice shoes. Do you know who well. designed these? Who? The Olsen twins. Shut up! See, I know. Isn't that weird? <laughs> they have a shoe company, and I think they make really. They, did just... they do one shoe each, or did they? <laughs> I don't know their names. Uh, it's Mary, would... Mary Kate, and Osama. Mary Kate. They, uh... <laughs> this is Okay, and this is Osama. Osama. Are the Olsen twins of their own fashion line? They do. They make uh, blazers, everything. Wow, blazers, you but say. I don't know well, why I say that because blazers are very in right now, and I notice that they have case in point. But yeah, you have they, to the Olsen twins designed this too. <laughs> when like they were that. much younger. Right. They drew this when they were five. <laughs> That's amazing. I kind of thought that was, yeah. yeah. Tell me about the Glee show. What's that about? Uh, it's about a Glee club. Um, oh, right. It's like a show choir in a high school uh, yes. somewhere in the they middle solve, of the country. They solve crimes? And they solve crimes, exactly. It's uh, Glee Club does CSI. Um, and, uh, I, gosh, how do you describe it? It's a comedy, it's a musical, it's uh, dark. Uh, it's created by Ryan Murphy, who did Nip Tuck. Oh, yes, that's the show about the plastic surgeons exactly. that are sexy. It was sexy, yes, yeah. I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? No, <laughs> no, but I hear it's very sexy. Yeah, I was yeah. on it for a long time. Oh, were you really? And um, I'm glad you've seen I, it. No, no, I did some I, really embarrassing things. No, no, no. I did you? I did. Naked? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see a DVD box set? Thing. Just in case, you know. No, I'm nice. shaking. Oh, no, please. <sighs> was that creepy when I said that? I didn't mean it to no. be. I was just I kidding on. Get me, really, I'm not just kidding. Uh, <laughs> now, where are you from? I'm from Montreal. Canada? <laughs> we had Canadians here only last night. Did you? Can't remember. <laughs> what night is it? Don't, don't answer that. Uh, I think it's... It's Friday. The, uh, Montreal's the French Canada, yeah. Yes. Tu parles français? Montreal, oui, je parle français. Ah! Et toi, tu parles français aussi? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the French Canadian French, though, is, is, yeah. uh, it's a bit quacky, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> it's gonna... Yeah, it's a bit... Yes, like that, yeah. It's kind of like helium French. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard it described like that, but it's tricky when you go to Paris, because they don't like the French. Uh, the Quebecois accent. You, you shouldn't worry, they don't like yeah. anything. <laughs> they don't like one. me, they don't like them. They actually don't even like themselves. So. Yeah. I remember I did go to Paris uh, once and I, I was by myself and I, for the first couple of days I just thought, why does everybody hate me? And then I had to realize, well, they hate everybody. Well, I don't think me. they hate everybody. No, I think they it's don't. Just, uh, I think what happens in, in, in France is, well, in Paris, not, not France, but in Paris, I think it's kind of fashionable to have a disaffected air. And also, they like to, they're kind of slow to warm. They well, like to go through reserved, little polite yeah. things. Which is and, more Canadian, too, I think. Yeah, I suppose I think so, yeah. The, I mean, they don't, they don't apologize quite in the same way. But they, uh, or at all, actually. Yeah. Uh, we make up for everybody. But do Canadians really apologize that much? I do, all really? the time. Really? I bumped into parking meters and I've apologized. I have. Oh, I, mean, I bumped into a rat once and I apologized. You bumped into a rat? Yes. Where? I was in New York. I was in oh, the subway. Course, yeah, 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 and I was walking upstairs. And this rat hit me and it was so heavy. I thought it was a person. I was like, oh, sorry. And then I thought, it's a rat. I don't know. Apologize to a rat. What did, what did the rat say? Did it, did it recognize you in any way or did it just scurry? Yeah. It was like, oh, nice shoes. Yeah. And then, and those Olsen, Olsen twin shoes. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. That's how rats talk in my head. <laughs> in my head, rats talk like Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> I don't know why. I can believe that. Yeah, yeah, they do. I don't know why. Why were you in New York? Did you used to live there? I did. I used to live there. Really? Where? Uh -huh. Upper West Side. 
Mm, did you cool. live there? I did. Whereabouts? Lower East Side. <laughs> That's a lot cooler. It was a lot cooler yeah. then. I, I think so. I don't remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> it was well, fun. And the Upper West Side, so did you uh, walking around the park? And, yeah. yeah the you know, nice. I, I was an actress, obviously, when I lived there, and I was, you know, unemployed, and I, 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 I just I associate the park with... Unemployment? Sort of, yes. Yeah, yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Just trying well, to Did you ever to uh, wait tables while you were waiting? You know what? I didn't, but I just waited tables for the first time last week. Why? I took a catering job. How's the show doing? I know. <laughs> I know. I I I'd never done it, and I and I I don't really like to be busy. And, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, yeah. So I did. It was fascinating. Yo, I'll bet. Yeah, people, yeah. Are, people are so rude. People are rude. Yeah, people are awful. And you so, know what? Yeah. I'll tell you something. The people who are rude. I, I was uh, I was catering, so mm. you know you're passing hors d'oeuvres. I didn't bring them hors d'oeuvres after a while. I just stopped. I was like, if they want to find me, they can find me. But the people who are nice, I'm bringing them the stuff fresh off the grill. Well, you're going to damage your catering career. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I always thought? This is is that uh, women should look out for this. I think whenever you date a guy, uh, uh, watch how he treats the wait staff Ooh, in a restaurant because that's how he'll end up treating you. <laughs> Not how he treats his mother, but how he treats... No, 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 no. Wait, the politeness. You see yeah, if someone's like... You know, if they start because they're familiar and they're... They kind of like, you know, watch that. That's yeah. the way to go. I think so. Did you ever wait tables? Yeah. You did? Yeah. And I watched as a barman as well, a bartender. Oh, but that's cool. Yeah, I that's guess. That's kind of sexy. No, but I mean, the bartender's always sexy. The bartender seems like, you know, he's... He's in control. Like, he's like... We're not talking about the same type of no, bar, though. Bar. <laughs> Like, the bar where I was a bartender, I was a dude, and there were some other dudes. Right. <laughs> All day. Yeah. Yeah. And if you said it to someone, they'd say, are we drinking or are we talking? <laughs> no, I don't have time for this crap. <laughs> yeah, I never went to that no, bar. No, no. I don't it's know that bar. Pretty fun places. <laughs> hey, we're out of time, but listen, good luck with Glee Thank or you. catering. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> However, it works. Thank you Thank very you. much. It's lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you. The lovely Jessalyn uh, Gilson, everybody. We'll be right back. Yes, are from Seattle. They are folk rockers. They're here performing the title track to their album, The Ruminant Band. Please welcome the Fruit Bats, everybody. Fruit Bats. <laughs> You'll always have smokes if you always give buckets of love. Like little sad dad who was living on Beatles and girls. Had a blue-eyed man that the moon didn't love.
just keep clapping your hand Like sweet, sweet Peter clap for the room in vain Had a bit of tongue Kind of tells a little story, that, doesn't it? <laughs> What's this? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Uh, does that, like, freak you out if I point it right at the TV? Does it, like, go... Whoa, yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah. All right, take a hit. And then... Uh, Awesome. Awesome. I'm kidding. I don't condone that kind of behavior. Uh, well, what did we learn on the show tonight? We learned that uh, Wavy's on the run from the cops, the, uh, the kitten shot a guy, and Lauren Graham was wearing sofa things on her legs. There's something about boots. You know, it's just you, a woman puts boots on, and men just go nuts. All right, I do. <laughs> like a woman in boots, it's not, I don't know what it is. What is it? Oh yeah, it's sex. <laughs> That's a, why, I, why are boots sexy? I don't know why. Um, because it doesn't have, you know, men can put boots on and I'm like, eh. <laughs> you going out? Yeah, going fishing. Nice boots, thanks buddy. <laughs> No facts. A woman puts the same boots on a woman. Wow, where are you going? <laughs> going fishing? Can I come? <laughs> Completely different, you see. All right, maybe not the exact same boots. Um, like waders. <laughs> Sometimes I think I reveal too much of myself. <laughs> You just, I probably should have a script or something to protect me. <laughs> and then I think, eh. Uh... Ooh la la! <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs>